test, test. Audio coming in. All right. So for the other winner semis match of this Switch Fest kickoff event, the precursor to Switch Fest 2019 this weekend, we have Shutone, the Japanese Olimar player, a top five PGR talent in the world against Pape, a top 30 PGR talent in his own right from MTBA and a Pokemon trainer. That's a character you're going to be seeing a lot of this weekend. Shutone, uh, I can't imagine that either of the two would consider switching characters, but perhaps there's a surprise or two. So, hopefully we'll be able to get that sorted. going to be Shutone's Olimar versus Pape's Pokemon Trainer. Game one, as expected, between Shutone and Pape in winner's semis. The winner of this will go on to face Kameme in winner's finals. The loser, of course, will drop down to play for fifth. Loser side on the town and city game one. Pokemon Trainer Olimar, of course, the matchup. This is going to be very, very Squirtle dependent and very dependent on how Pape, the Pokemon Trainer, plays Squirtle. If he gets careful, he is eternally aware of what Pikmin Shutone has out at any given time if he uses tools such as this water gun. Shutone, meanwhile, just SDs. I'm not quite sure if he mismanaged the Pikmin, but they were just too heavy, it seemed. Now, Puppet has the upper hand, but he'll stick to Squirtle in, within these low percents. Fair with the purple Pikmin from Shutone. Finally makes the switch to Ivysaur. Almost two minutes, almost a minute in, rather. Turns safely there. An air from Shoot Home, against Shoot Home rather. His shield is looking mighty small, and that F smash with the purple Pikmin, that will seal it out. That was newly buffed in 4.0.0, and Shoot Home showing its effect. Meanwhile, he's going to start to make the comeback. He's already in the lead, a good, healthy 25%, and even more with that rapid jab. One of the benefits, of course, of town and city, especially evident when, uh, when Ivysaur is out is that Puppe will be able to get some of these up airs and down airs through the platforms, but when the layout's like this, there's no platforms present, that might be a bit of a hindrance. Into the grab and down. No, it does not get the vine with. Tried to go for perhaps a, a back air that was asking a bit much, but Puppe will find the kill anyway, and all of a sudden, Shutone is down to last off. Winner semis game one. A lot at stake, a lot to play for. Meanwhile, the fair comes out from Puppet. He's playing Charizard very, very safely. Knows that he only needs a few more percent for the back air to kill. Throw, meanwhile, from Shutong will close it out to a last stock situation. And as I said, Squirtle is coming out, so we'll have to see how Puppet plays this. The onus is on him. He has to be the one avoiding and making the first move. Meanwhile, he. Puppet does not want anything to do with that, just switches to Ivysaur. Nair will get rid of some of the Pikmin and do a little bit of chip damage to boot, but already at 93%, he's going to have to find something fast, perhaps the Charizard switch sooner than you think. There with the purple Pikmin. Tether's back though, off the top, the up air and the yellow Pikmin. Bit of a dangerous switch there, and the up smash, but won't get punished for it, the flamethrower attack on a bit of percent for Shutan. This is doable. Just needs to get through this labyrinth of projectiles. The forward throw, not yet, but Pape so close. What an excellent recovery by Shutan. And no, Pape just SD'd at the very end. One of the edge guard and just ran out of real estate for himself to be able to do anything. But Pape knows he can do better than that. Shutan 
takes game one on town and city. Once again, we are going to see absolute the same matchup between the two of them. Shuton, not the best start in game one, but Managed to bring it back and onto Battlefield. I have to imagine this is a pick that Pape will like. Again, the up air covers so much of platform. It's not a bad pick for Shutone as well, but perhaps he might have to be a bit more cognizant of what his opponent wants in the matchup. Up smash into the back air with the red Pikmin will do 75%. That will bring him high into the percents, not even 30 seconds in, already switching to the Ivysaur. Back throw. He is too, oh no, he is not too low. What excellent, excellent recovery from Pape. And he's just gonna occupy the real estate, but gets caught on the ledge by the Purple Pikmin. That invincibility ran out at the wrong time and the Flare Blitz does not get punished for it. The up smash will connect, won't kill. First kill of the game will be going to Shutone. Yellow Pikmin. No, Puppy wants to regain state control. Has to get around these Pikmin, though. It's so, so difficult when you have these large bodies and that bank be a hindrance when Ivysaur and Charizard are out in the battlefield. And I said that this might advantage Puppy, the stage choice in game one, but so far it's been looking like Shutone has been able to take full advantage of the platform layout and the large blast zones. That falls down with an aerial as well. Another kill from Shuton. He is absolutely tearing through Pape at the moment. He just needs to find a third kill, and that combo start will be the way to do it. Text in place and air dodges downwards as well. Shuton absolutely reading out. Fair from Pape will finally close out one stock. Shuton has to be a bit more cautious now against the Squirtle. Although Pape exercising no caution himself nearly died. We did see that in the dare from Shuton, not quite either. We see two red splash screens, but Shuton going deep for this. Only one Pikmin, so he can float and use that up special to recover back from a much longer distance. Another parry. Up throw, yep, that'll do it. Pape down 2-0. Shuton just played so patiently. That's just been the hallmark of his play. And Pape has one game to get something going here. Now if I'm Shutone, I just have to execute that same game plan. If I'm Pape, I have to be thinking, you know, how do I utilize these side platforms to my advantage? How do I play in a play style? And going to a stage like Smashville might be the way to do that. Just get rid of the side platforms entirely. Just knows that whatever advantage he gains, Shuton will be gaining double. So just get rid of that entirely. Pape finally starts it off with a bit of a percent lead. Go into the back air, but Pape, you could tell he wanted to read it either with the upper or the dare, trying to which recovery Shuton was going to go for, but it did so well to just stay in the middle until the very last moment. Wanted to go for the line whip for the early kill, but does not get to the forward smash roll connect, and that will give Shuton all the space he needs for a purple Pikmin down air. The back air from the yellow Pikmin this time. He is absolutely making this back with just such impeccable Pikmin management. The down smash will connect, though. This might be another up throw. It will be... Exactly that, Shuton for the third game in a row, taking, no. Wow, he's just taking absolute advantage of Pape. And the Charizard this early, perhaps in the game, in the stock game. I think Pape has to realize it kind of reeks of desperation and he's just gonna be punched over and over and over again for that large body. Wanted to catch that, but the dare from Pape will seal it out, Shuton playing so well, but just was unaware of that giant foot coming in. Pape puts a stop to this momentum train of Shutones. Dare. 
Flamethrower will get rid of some of the Pikmin, although that two frame at the ledge before Shutong even knew it, he was already in the lead, and now Puppe has to be near perfect in this last off. Back air. Up air through the platform. This is how Puppe must take control of the stage. The Vine Whip will seal it out. Shutone, only 69% ahead, has to be so, so careful. He could afford to go for a few riskier options. Cannot anymore. And now Puppe with an air is starting to make this comeback. Only 25% down. Back throw. Oh no, the down throw into the up air, but just whistles, uses the armor on the whistle to just get through that. That's something we hadn't seen from Shutown all set, but puts use of it in game three, perhaps at the most important time. Gets around that though, the rapid jab from Puppe. And that red pick and doing even more damage. Charizard will be living, but not for much longer. That up air will seal it out for Shutan. That's a quick 3-0 in winner semis. He will advance to face his countryman Kamehameha in grand finals.